Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. I was sabotaged. I thought it was in the 40s. So I was like, I'll just wear my jean jacket. It's 37. I'm walking out to do my office hours. Um, I mean, it feels better than it's been, but it's still chilly. The sun is shining. And it's gonna be a good Sunday. Just wanted to let you know that my life has gotten to a crisis point in my parenting. Um, Teddy now fits into a size 5 diaper, while James is in a size 6, which means basically that uh, I will be constantly messing that up and putting them in each other's diapers because from a visual perspective, they are basically the exact same thing when they're folded up in a dark backpack. So. Get ready for some confused butts. I'm gonna get these kids changed. They had, oh, you got you got your brother's baba? Are you bringing that over to your brother or do you want to drink it? We're gonna get ready to go outside. We're gonna go for a little walk. So Sarah's out working. Uh, James brought my shoes over, put his shoes actually on. That's a first. Um, so I'm gonna get these guys set up and ready to go out into the cold for a little walk on this Sunday morning. It's the uh, nasty kind of warm where the park is still covered in snow. Whoa! James, I'm very sorry to report the groundhog saw his shadow. So we got six more weeks. A different table. We haven't seen that one yet. Never uh, challenge a Brookhart with a dream. James may have found something he can play in, and that is the sand pit because it's kind of covered. Um, also, I, I did put Teddy in the carrier. I was kind of weary of like, okay, I could put Teddy in the car, which he's never really done before, and he did great in it, especially with the snow surrounding. He's big enough to like be secure in it. But um, I was like. James walking, am I gonna stress about like chasing after him? And I was like, I'll just figure it out. Then when we got to the park with how icy it was and James immediately slipping like that, I was like, you know what? We're gonna put him in the carrier. I think when the, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit, it's beautiful even though it's like this like melty, sunny kind of this, but it's not every day you get to see this park this sunny, right? I think we're gonna head over to the coffee shop when we leave here that Sarah's at and see how she's doing. We're not going to the south side this Sunday. Um, we're just kind of hanging out in the city. What do you see? Hi, we left the park. It was fun, but you know, it was limited fun, but James hasn't been there in like two months, so he was jazzed. And he is now in here safely strapped, so he doesn't run into Halstead Street. And I think we're going to go find Sarah and pay her a little surprise visit. Yes? We found mom. Um... <laughs> oh, he's so happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, park was short lived because it's like icy but muddy. Oh. But we had fun. We went to the park? Oh. Well, we're going to go walk around the neighborhood, I think. That's you look like you're going to fall asleep, I think I'm going to switch them around before we leave here. Yeah. Do you want to sit with my chai tea latte? Ooh. No, there's like nothing left. That's good. Alrighty, I am all done with my office hours. I do still have to edit some of the vlog, but I'm getting hungry and I've been gone a while, so I figured I'd just finish up at home. Um, I think, like we talked about in the last vlog, that like we really aren't fully moving away. With us wanting to be here half of the year, um, I'm not crying, I just water a lot in this cold. But anyway, what is hitting me is that this first stretch of us going back to Florida and um, when we're in Chicago, we're going to be living with my sister and her family, the Sicards, that that's not going to be in our neighborhood. We're not going to be down the street from all of these different, you know, places and 
we just we just love it so so much where we live um, we even have said before had we not moved away from this neighborhood our first year of marriage we we did a year here and then we moved down to the south side for a year that's when we decided to move to Florida and we've always said like would we have ever moved to Florida if we had just stayed here because we love this area so 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 much um, and so that's what I'm kind of like as I'm walking home I'm like getting nostalgic of these streets and of these walks and I know we'll come here and eventually this is where we hope to own but that that part of us moving soon is what's starting to hit me Teddy you're too mobile I was getting the camera for a shot of him like in this glorious sunlight and he had Crawled away. Hey. Hi. Did you have a good nap? You did. Jamesy's napping. You took a good nap. It's a restful Sunday, huh? Yeah. I just had a terrifying moment with my laptop. It is out of space, basically, and I've been meaning to back up stuff. All of our vlogs are on YouTube, obviously, but I also keep just like the final file. Um, and yeah, I've been meaning to back up and I haven't. And all of a sudden, just like everything quit and was like, you can open your files from February 3rd. And I was like, that was two days ago. Did everything I just do today disappear? But thankfully it didn't and I'm backing stuff up. Thankfully I had um, an external hard drive that had plenty of space. But it was like, it shook me. Peter's folding laundry. And I told the vlog I'm getting nostalgic for our neighborhood. Because even though when we move away, we come back, Ooh. it's going to be lovely being at Christina's in, in Evergreen, and it's going to be different. But we are city folk, not suburban folk. Yeah. But, you know, I hope that when we do buy something in the city, in just hopefully just a few short years, that it's in this area. Yeah, and we can always come down here. Yeah. Let's hear it for all the parents, caretakers out there. That is the ultimate win. Thank you for Donald. Things are about to fall into the baby house with a bunch of things. Shout out for when you get a baby to fall asleep and put them in the crib and remove your hands as smooth as a hot knife through butter. And the baby doesn't even realize that they're not even in your arms anymore. That's a Sunday night win right there. Alrighty, I am in the kitchen cooking dinner. Um, we have a strong urge for deep dish pizza, but we are going to make one pot jambalaya. Easy, all in one spot. Yummy, tasty, delicious. It's gonna be, it's gonna be worth it. Um, so start with some avocado oil and I'm gonna put in a full onion and two red peppers. The recipe also calls for celery, which I don't have. And then it also says one green pepper, one red pepper, but we just have red pepper. So I will link the recipe I'm kind of following below um, if you're interested in like the real deal, but I will share with you how I go about doing it with what I have at home. Oh my gosh, my pepper had triplets inside. That's crazy. I also always start with salt, pepper, garlic when starting my onions and always season along the way. My second pepper also had a baby inside of it. Sarah a few years ago would think this was a sick joke when she was trying to have a baby. I would always get peppers with baby inside. And here comes my baby now. You're here. I'm cooking. Peppers are cooking up. I also added some jalapenos that I had left over from a can yesterday. And I'm gonna chop up six cloves of garlic. Got the garlic in there, a cup of rice, and two tablespoons of tomato paste. Now I'm gonna stir all that up and add in the seasoning. The air is spicy. Um, I go a little rogue with the seasonings just because I don't measure. I just kind of know, oh, okay, like the most of this one, a little bit of that one. Um, so right here I'll put in like the actual amounts of the seasonings. Um, so yeah, it's spicy in the air smells really good um, but now I'm gonna put in 14 ounces of diced tomatoes and then vegetable broth this is looking pretty glorious already okay let's add those those liquids in and get this rice cooking it's gonna 
to be covered for 15 minutes. I'm gonna stir it every few, few minutes um, with me in the Dutch oven um, to get the rice nice and cooked. While that is going, I drained and rinsed my beans and chickpeas. Their recipe calls for kidney beans, but I only have black beans. And while that cooks, I'm gonna get my sausage sliced and cooked. It gets a little crispier if you cut it beforehand. This is Light Life brand chorizo smart sausage. So we're gonna see if we like this better or worse than Trader Joe's. It's a bit different given it's like not ground, but We'll see. We'll, we'll do a taste test. Alrighty, our sausage is uh, cooking along. I actually have a lot, so I think I'll probably cook each batch. Maybe not put all of it in the jambalaya. Now I'm gonna whip together a quick salad. I actually already have lettuce and tomatoes chopped, so I just made a quick dressing of olive oil, red wine vinegar, a little bit of lemon juice, salt, pepper, garlic, Dijon mustard. I'm gonna throw some nutritional yeast in there as well. Okay, live taste test of the chorizo. Kind of blah, but has like less of the like really salty chorizo taste and more of like the meaty chorizo. I think it'll be a great, like it does not taste fake. And I like that. It just like is two different types of chorizo experience. I still like the Trader Joe's one better because I like that salty kick. But this is perfect for this meal and like for a lot of other types of meals for sure. We got jambalaya, salad, sleeping tidy, very happy James. We're gonna dive in. All right, everybody, this is the deal. Both kids asleep, both kids adorable, both kids so fun to cuddle. And uh, so Sarah and I are, you know what, we're calling it quits. We're shutting down this Sunday, shutting down the weekend. Not doing our routine, but instead we're gonna enjoy each other's company and watch more Ted Lasso in our room. It's 10.06, I think that's a great way to end the weekend. We will have regret about not doing the dishes, not completely organizing the house tomorrow morning. It's good to be home. Can you say your name? There is a new Miss Rachel. Specifically for two year olds. Jamesy and I are making a smoothie and we're working on him helping me putting ingredients in. Are you ready, sweetheart? Ready? Can you, can James help? Uh oh. Uh oh, I spilled a little bit. Can you help mama? Ready? Ready? <laughs> okay, take your hand. Hold it tight. Dump it in. <laughs> Yay! You did it. High five. You see yourself? Um. Um. Wake, wake, wake. You made a little mess. But that's a part of the fun. We have bananas and berries and coconut milk. We might add in some yogurt and some spinach and some flax. We are actually going to go through this entire thing of spinach. Now that is something that does not happen often. Cheers. James's favorite place to pick up some biscuits because this vlog is sponsored by Christina and Grant Sicard because they got Popeyes and said I want a biscuit. Otherwise, that was kind of short. So, Christina and family got Popeyes for lunch yesterday or maybe dinner yesterday. I'm not sure. And Sarah loves Popeyes biscuits. And so, she's like, Oh, I want biscuits. I want biscuits, but we should be good. And then I was like, Oh, what are we having for dinner tonight? Are we having leftovers? And there's like a good amount of leftovers, but not a lot. And then we are justifying it by rather than making a whole new meal, which we had planned for, which we can just push to tomorrow. I'm taking, I took James over to Jewel to get the Pillsbury biscuits. 
and we're gonna make those, have those with the leftovers from yesterday, make a fresh salad, boom, a dinner saved and using all of our leftovers. And not going to Popeyes and getting a full family meal that's full of non-vegany things. Sounds like a successful plan right there. Hot and candy skies, as Sarah would say. Hot and candy skies. Don't always see it in Chicago, but it is possible. Sarah's little sneak and got me a Valentine's gift, but it was poorly manufactured, so she's showing me it. You can like... Oh, I don't mind about that at all. I know, but can we just get a different... Be curious, not judgmental. Ted Lasso! I mean, who's the actual quote by? Walter Whitman. Is it by Walter Whitman, or are you thinking of Walter Mitty? No, I think it's, with... Walt, I think it's Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman, yeah. Walt, Walt, Walt Whitman. Be curious, not judgmental. And Check out the video. Quote. That we'll put down below from Ted Lasso. But it's this is fine. I love it. The hullabaloo. I love you, baby. <laughs> hey guys. Hi. Through the magazines, reading stories with my baby. I feel like I've just taken like quick clips today and not really like talk to the camera. So hello, it's 6 p.m. I am reheating our jambalaya up from last night, our leftovers. I expected to cook tonight, but we actually had a ton of leftovers. So I made a salad and then we got the biscuits that are like one of those like accidentally plant-based things. Um, and they just smell so, so good. I'm gonna put, oh, this isn't plant-based. I'm gonna have honey. Um, yeah, I've been eating honey. But I, that's all right, We're, I'm just gonna eat it. Um, and then the salad, I have not made just like our classic family salad in a while. So it's romaine lettuce, some onion, usually it is purple onion, but I just had yellow onion, tomato, drizzle some olive oil, and some red wine vinegar. You wanna do the liquids first so that the seasonings stick. A little bit more, I'm a vinegar gal. And then it's, Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and oregano. And honestly, before you mix it or anything, make sure you have a tomato. This right here, like the saturated spices, with a little bit of vinegar on a tomato, this is like one of my top favorite foods. That salad just tastes like home to me. It's so good. If you're someone who eats steak, if you make that salad and have steak and you put like the dressing on the steak. So, so good. I love it. It's perfect. Um, and we're gonna go eat. Mmm. Oh yeah, delicious. Oh, you want some biscuit? Yay! Oh, yes. Let me help you. Salad, leftovers, heaven. Sarah's just hers up with some honey and some honey. <laughs> Look at my girl. <laughs> Uh-oh, Teddy's gonna get tangled. Uh-oh. I like to use this technique of, of using the fork for the biscuit. I just heard James oh cheer God. about something. <gasps> hey! Oh, you found the donuts. You can have one. You can have one. Oh, they want the candy instead, huh? We had a very successful bedtime turn into a very delayed bedtime. I text Sarah like 10 minutes after James, after Sarah, after she left the room so I can put James down and was like, hey, he's out. And she literally was like, oh my gosh, what a great day to have a awesome nap and easy quick going to bed and then i got up to get out of there and he woke up <laughs> and woke up bright eyed and bushy tailed and you're like another two hours in there two hours later i'm out and he's finally oh really asleep gosh. yeah so our night's over yeah and i feel like i'm finally like i don't even think we've really talked about it much but like i feel like i'm finally starting to feel the like effects of weaning Teddy off of nursing. I don't know, I just like feel off. Um, and so I'm just like, I've been laying with Teddy, which was like good, 
but I also have been like, I don't know, feeling strange. So I think, I think we should just go to bed. Yeah. I have a dentist appointment early, 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 like before work. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good windy morning. We're so glad you're here. Woo! Every daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. Just left the dentist. I had a very early morning, like 8 a.m. appointment. The convenient thing about city life is that you could do that and then just walk home before you start your work day. So I do have a busy morning at work, so it's like getting back home. It's like hitting the ground running. Um, use a cup of coffee. Dentist went well. No new additional cavities. I need any. I need my wisdom teeth taken out. They've been trying to tell me to do that for like 18 months now, basically. Maybe even longer. I don't know how long it was until we went to the dentist after we moved back. But every visit, they're like, you need your wisdom teeth, and they give me a referral. And I'm like, I know, I know, I know. I've got to find time. Children. Excuses, excuses, excuses. I just got to go. I just got to go. Good morning. From Fancy Plants, we are back here again because it's just so easy knowing everything is plant-based. We are sticking to our No Spend February with the asterisk of using the cash that we had left over. So... We came here today for some some drinks and some pastries because we didn't do our Monday typical typical treat. Look at Sarah's. This is straight Sarah's city vibes right here. I usually I've never been like a winter half person. Yeah. And I've just embraced it since we've been Good. back. <laughs> um so we took a little walk. Yes. Get some fresh air. I last night I got up really fast. We mentioned that I wasn't feeling like hundred percent. Um, but last night I got up really fast and it was like, I was dizzy and I've kind of like still been disoriented today. Yeah, to the point and where so, like, I yeah. took a longer lunch break here. Yeah. I'm going to see how Sarah feels by the time we get home. I might take the rest of the afternoon off. Yeah. Um. I, it's just like, I'm used to headaches. I'm used to like other means of discomfort and like dizziness is just really strange for me. And disorienting. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And taking care of kids a lot up and down and up and down and have some meals rest so this will be good um they got this plum tea it's really good it's like surprisingly good there's no sugar in it that i added doesn't need it and then no Ooh, and then i got so good this bagel sandwich with veggies oh, i got a coffee yeah. here is my yummy bagel sandwich like five bucks nice veggies delicious plant-based cream cheese Everything bagel, so good. All right, heading back to Jewel. Kind of unexpected. We had dumplings that we bought the other day that we were gonna make dumpling soup, which is delicious. Um, but James saw them just now in the fridge and like literally got them out and brought them to us in the living room. I was like, open please, I'm hungry right now. So we weren't gonna deny him those. Uh, we also didn't have a lot. Like, you, like there was enough for like what was in one person's bowl of dumpling soup. So we need more dumplings. So I'm walking over to Jewel to grab just dumplings. No more, no less. I'm also freaking out because our friend Kristen went and saw two different properties in the neighborhoods we like in Florida. We like them both, but we think we're gonna officially apply for one of them, but it's stressful because it takes at least two weeks because you have to get approved by the HOA. So then it's like, oh my gosh, like do we just not search for houses still until this gets approved or declined? Or do we keep searching? And then what happens if we find something we like more than this, but we also don't want to not search and miss something that we would like in case we get denied by the HOA, but I have no reason to believe we would get denied by the HOA. <sighs> Stressful stuff, guys, but this house is nice. Well, it's a townhome. This townhome is nice. Okay, this is a herky-jerky vlog because it's now a three-parter. We've had... A funky few days like we've explained on top of that we've also been back in the house hunting game we really only took a week off but it really did make a difference looking in January and now that it's like getting into February um, just in general we are looking for a March move so yeah our minds have been all over the place I'm gonna do my easy uh, dumpling soup for dinner tonight it's one of our favorites um, so I'll show you how to make it. I've used all different kinds of like pre-chopped stir fry veggies, but these ones are really nice. They also have Brussels sprouts, broccoli, carrots, just a bunch with the sauce too. So got that going in my Dutch oven with pepper and garlic and ginger. 
I'm actually gonna add in an onion, which I should have done before, but I, I, I don't know why, I forgot. Cooked up all the veggies until they were nice and tender. I also added like a can, a bigger, like 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes, which I haven't done in the past, but tomatoes just make everything better. And then I'm putting in this, I don't know, how many ounces are you? 32 ounces of vegetable stock. Okay, so I also added in some water because I just needed some more liquid. So I'll probably end up having to put more soy sauce in it later for flavor. But I'm gonna let this get to boil in before I throw in my dumplings. I have water over here boiling. So I'm also gonna make peanut noodles for the side, probably half of this. So I added in the soy sauce to the soup. I also added in like a quarter of a cup of coconut milk and it just has like the perfect little bit of extra oomph to it. I really, I haven't done that before, um, but it's really yummy. I'm also going to add in some chili powder, some red pepper flakes, um, <clears throat> maybe a little coriander. I don't know, just kind of give it a little bit more to it. Um, and then throw in the dumplings. I have my noodles cooking and then my peanut sauce, which I've showed this before, is basically equal parts peanut butter and soy sauce and then water to just like get it to the right consistency. And then I also add in a little bit of apple cider vinegar and a little bit of avocado oil. Um, and then for spices, just garlic and ginger, a lot of ginger. Um, so that's the sauce that'll go on our noodles. Usually I'll top the noodles with like everything bagel seasoning on it. All right, friends, James is asleep. I think Sarah's putting Teddy down in our bed and gonna transfer him. But she's not responding to my text message, so either she's asleep or her phone died. I'm gonna start cleaning up. It's eight o'clock, um, early night for James. It's always fun. We kind of need to have a productive night. We're supposed to Peloton, edit a vlog, work out, apply for a townhome to rent. We are gonna take the dive and apply it is about two weeks time for the HOA to go through the approval process, and I don't know if there are other outstanding applicants. So, by no means is it like a sure thing. Um, but, State of the Union is about to start. As Americans, I feel like this is an important thing for us to watch and stay educated on. Uh, every administration, since I've been about like, I think 16 or 17, I've been watching the State of the Union addresses. Um, important to be an informed citizen in this country, but I'm gonna start cleaning up the living room because this is what life looks like when you've got two very fun, active children. So I'm gonna chip away at this as the president begins his speech. This is how he feels after watching the State of the Union and the response to the State of the Union. Oy vey. This is how Sarah feels after officially applying for a rental in the state of Florida again. I just, those Florida sunsets, you know. Cotton candy skies. <laughs> no. Um, speaking of, um, tomorrow people are viewing our apartment again. So we have to get this it's place. Such a pain. Spick spam. Spick spam. Evie says, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. She's the OG Brooke Hart Project blogger. Yeah. Look at her back feet. Look at her paw. She's so stomach. I'm gonna get a tattoo of Eve on my face. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>